Okay, we're on our way to Air One. I'm so excited. I'm literally gonna drink two smoothies. It's gonna be like a hundred dollars. Here it is. The famous Air One. Yeah, they have a bunch of sea moss. I didn't even know they had all those flavors. I've only seen it on Amazon and they never show that many flavors. A bunch of juices. They have coconut strawberry milk. Ooh, that sounds so good. Strawberry coconut milk invigorator smoothie. Blue pearl, pearl almond, almond milk. milk. Oh my gosh, that sounds delicious. Oh, damn it. I, can't, I honestly can't believe how many employees they have. Oh, no, they're constantly restocking so that everything looks perfect. Look at everything. Yeah, yeah that's true. As soon as you grab something, they come up and they restock it. That's really, like, crazy. Like, yeah, or they just like, they sh you see how everything's like shifted to the front? Just, yeah. Like, everything looks Oh, cool. I see. You can tell these strawberries are organic because they are so little, baby. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't going to get a basket, but there's actually a good amount of stuff that look like I should buy. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so I got one of these. I got one of, let me see which one else. Uh, these. And then I got one of these. And I got one of these. We're going to try this. Thank you. I got two of the one, 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 and one. Ooh, there's a bunch of broths, I believe. I don't know what kind of broths they are. It's just a bunch. Let me see. Oh, I think this is just juice or something. Chicken, lemongrass. Beef, dandelion. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Okay, that is so crazy. What? Kelp patties? With Spongebob? I'm oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> Look at this. Huge. But they're plant based. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Oh, that's why they're called kelp patties. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I need to know if this is real. Camel milk? What? I'm looking at the ingredients. Whole camel milk, y'all. I'm buying this. That is so crazy. Okay, whenever I hear of Era One, I always think everything is so expensive, but the seasonings are actually not that bad. Like this, this garlic salt is $6.99. This cayenne pepper is $5.99. Huh? You should have their sea salt. Ooh. But yeah, I'm actually really impressed with that because I feel like people only show the really expensive things and it's just like, no, not everything is overly priced. Right. Except this salt truffle. Just kidding. Truffle is expensive. Right. <laughs> These are making my mouth water. They look so delicious. But then again, it's like, bitch, you can make that shit at home. Y'all, they have salsa matcha here. This is probably the most expensive salsa matcha I've probably seen in my life. But this one has cranberries. That is crazy. I've never seen salsa matcha with uh, cranberries. I don't even know what this does, but that sounds so crazy. Your deer antler. That's so funny that they sell the Aztec, uh, the, the no clay. clay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh, how much is in here? That, oh, $11.99. <laughs> When you come to Air One, I'm making Sophia get all of this free samples at Air One. When you come to Air One, you have to get the free samples. <laughs> I think that goes for, how much does it go for? Okay, that one goes for $48, which is not bad. But some of these items go for $84. I mean, it is glowy. It smells good. Girl, you're going to be levitating later. <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah, this one's like $98 for some body lotion. I have like, okay, I just tried this anti-aging one. It goes for $84, but I put it on my skin and I can see why it goes for $84. Like, I feel, I don't know what I feel, but I feel something. I am so, so, so happy they have bee pollen because in a lot of places, you can't find bee pollen and it's $25 for 150 grams, which I think is so good. What is that? It's a ro rose oil and it's supposed to like, it's saying that like, it like helps like raise your vibration. Ooh, it, like, Ooh that's cool. It vibrates cool. at like a frequency or whatever. <gasps> that's cool. But I don't know if I believe it. Okay, I've heard Manuka honey is so healthy for you, but holy cow, this bottle is $110. That's so crazy. I mean, there must be some backed up motherfucking science and Stop shit. <laughs> oh, and this one's just, so you can try this one for $3.50. That's awesome. I'm going to do that, actually. See, I like how they have, like, little samples of stuff. 
Look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. So it's cute. a pink lemonade. I think I'm gonna spend like 60 bucks on three things. <laughs> I'm finally in the line for the Haley Beaver smoothie, Kendall Over Jenner here. smoothie. I'm gonna honestly get both. I don't know if, are you still gonna get a smoothie or no? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. It's been, it's been like this since we've gotten here. I just got my freaking smoothie. We're walking outside. They have a cute patio and I can't wait to try this. We did it guys. Hailey Beaver. Beaver, not Beaver. What do I say? Beaver. Nah, it's Hailey Beaver. She said Tia Selena. <laughs> and then the Kendall Jenner one. <laughs> oh wow. I saw it. I know she looks so good, right? Wow. This is so good. I'm levitating. Just kidding. <laughs> I definitely see the hype. Mm. And now the Kendall Jenner. Ooh, it's so sweet. But I think there's peaches in here. Oh, I love peaches. Yeah, like right by the cat right there. Mmm. Cool. I like it. It tastes like a like peach cobbler. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna try the mango? Yeah. I love mango, so this might be my favorite. Okay, let's try it. This is remember this thing. This is like don't recommend at all. Like it? I'm a mango lover, so I have high expectations of mango. And it doesn't really taste like, I don't know. Definitely these two. Can I see this video? Okay, Tal's got the Haley Bieber, Haley Bieber ice cream <laughs> smoothie, basically. I want to see if I can put all three. I feel like the smoothie is sweeter. And then what can you? This one tastes more That's coconutty. Like Let me see. I feel like it's very like cute. It's really good, but I it's way more subtle. This is what a hundred dollar looks like at Air One. Right here, it's like there's like two things. Just kidding. <laughs> this one was clearly my favorite. I still haven't tried the camel milk because it's still frozen. Ready for bar and G. Thank you. Thank you. I think I definitely would come back. I did enjoy. Um, I think I did enjoy everything, especially like the experience. Um, like everything was just so flashy, you know, it's like fun. Like, and you're just looking around to see like, what else are they going to bring? You know, I'm in my pajamas. We're getting ready for sleep, but we're not trying to go to sleep without drinking this camel milk because tomorrow we ain't trying to have diarrhea all day. So we might as well let it process through the night, if anything. Well, at least have the bathroom ready here to go. <laughs> yeah, we have three bathrooms, so we can each be in one. <laughs> well, Sophia isn't gonna drink any, but it's okay. Oh, it says easy to digest. Okay, we're going to test that out. You got two lactose intolerant girlies. We're gonna see if, like, what's up? It's keto certified, paleo approved, farm bottled, excellent source of calcium and blah, 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 blah. no added growth hormones, gluten free, additive free good source of protein. I am so excited to try this. And the uh, camels actually are from Lo Los Angeles. Maybe not Los Angeles, but California. Oh, Santa Monica. They are literally from, distributed by Desert Farms, Santa Monica, California. I don't normally drink regular milk, so I can't really compare it, but I do drink a lot of almond milk. All right. It really doesn't taste like anything. 
All right, we're gonna let Tals try it. <coughs> Here you go, Tals. It's your turn to try this camel milk. I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Do you think anything is gonna bother us? I don't think it's gonna bother us. No, I don't think so. Okay, hold on. That's crazy. Hopefully not. It said easy to digest. Easy to digest? Yeah, it says guys, it on the bottle. Watching you guys eat it made me feel like, I don't know. <laughs> the thing that gets me is, do you hear that? I'm drinking a slushy, a camel milk slushy. <laughs> and you have yeah, how much was this? Fucking, it feels like I spent a thousand dollars on it. How much? <laughs> 30. That's this, 30. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, well, it's pasteurized. So at least, you know, we won't get sick. Potentially. I'm not saying desert farms don't come for us. I'm actually bleep that. Bleep, don't come for us. Bleep, don't come for us. Okay. Okay. Ingredients? Whole camel milk. That's it. That's what you like. You like less than five ingredients. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Okay. It doesn't really smell like anything. Which is weird. It's slightly, I mean like if you're trying to do something, it's slightly sweet. It really doesn't taste like anything. And I don't know if that's like good or bad, but like, I don't know. Does it taste like you're drinking it out of a nipple? <laughs> okay, this is done. <laughs> We're not doing this. A camel nipple? <laughs> you know, sometimes they have like, Oh, like, like, like Mary, like made this. You know, that's so cute. Where's my yeah. Mary? <laughs> Mary, where are you? What's the camel's name? We need to know the camel's name. No, literally. <laughs> Make every day a hump day. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe let's not <laughs> do that, actually. Um, that's funny. I don't know. My critique would be, well, what, imagine if they came out with a chocolate camel milk. That might be good. I would try that. I would... Absolutely try that. A strawberry, strawberry camel milk. Strawberry camel milk. That'd be insane. I think they should put this in glass. I do yeah. think. I think the plastic is messing with the taste a little bit uh -huh. because I taste a little bit of a plasticky aftertaste. That's literally the only thing I pick up. Like besides it being very mild, uh -huh. the only thing I taste is plastic afterwards. But it's not uh -huh. overpowering. It's just me literally just trying to find a, a taste to it. And for $30, bitch, y'all better put plastic on that. No, glass. Glass, sorry. <laughs> yeah, for 30 bucks, you better put this in glass. But I understand because when you freeze things in glass, it does have the potential to explode. But I think they need to um, come up with a better system of, of this. If you looked at this, would you think this was literally $30? Absolutely not. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right, that was the verdict. All right, I'm going to take one more sip of this. Yeah, it really doesn't taste like anything. Right. So crazy, 30 bucks, 30 bucks y'all. Inspired by your favorite all day rose, only dreamier. A glittering fusion of summer strawberry, barrel oak, and rosemary and citrus. Like a warm embrace with your toes in the sand. Oh. Open heart center and chill well for joyful intimacy. Whoa. What? Okay, why does this look like an aura? <laughs> oh gosh, they know who they're That's appealing funny. to. Okay, next up we have Desoy, okay, non-alcoholic aperitif, rich forest berries, and vanilla oak. Okay, next we have another aura. I like this aura better. Ooh. Um, it's it says actual sunshine. Oh. But, um, so it says meet the world's first functional mimosa. Oh. The most delicious way to start start your day. Sorry. I know mimosas, I don't know why that shocked me so much, but the imagine, we literally chug champagne at like 10 a.m. and literally. make it socially acceptable because it's a mimosa, there's orange juice in it, oh my gosh, that's <laughs> crazy! Sorry, I'm having an epiphany right We're now. We're literally crazy. Um, supercharged with immunity, what the heck, immunity support beauty boosters, oh my gosh, and kiss of plant-powered energy, this pineapple, oh wait, that does not, wait, does that say pineapple? Pineapple potion um, <laughs> is guaranteed to get you glowing. Oh, she glowing. So you're telling me I'm going to get hot after drinking oh. this? Oh. <laughs> is 
Um, lively notes of lemongrass and yuzu combined with adaptogens, lemon balm, and L-theanine derived from green tea for a refreshing experience. Chill and enjoy anytime. Ooh. Ooh, some ASMR. Oh. <laughs> so this one's like the rosé one. It does smell like rosé, Loki. Ooh. Cheers. Woo <laughs> I forget it's not alcoholic. I think it smells better than like rosé. <clears throat> it tastes more mild than it smells. Oh, yes. I feel like I could see it being like a, like an alcoholic alternative because it doesn't taste like alcohol, but it doesn't taste like a soda or like a regular drink. Right. So like if you need if you want like an alcoholic sub substitute, this would actually be like you know a subtle a good yeah no it's a good dupe for sure mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> i like it i just um i think that with mocktails and like zero proof stuff it's really hard because it's like it's usually like just juice but i can <clears> tell <throat> that they use a lot of different flavors in it which i like mm -hmm. it's like it's different than just getting like juice right right which is what i like okay this one i think is like the yuzu one yeah lemongrass and yuzu Okay, watch these like do all different things. Like this one's calming, this one's focused, this one's energy. And we're gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. I can like zoom in on her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a thousand percent. Okay, okay, like a thousand percent. <laughs> Gosh, I love this thing. Me too. When I saw you using it, I was like, what? Oh my gosh, I, this smell is like, I'm into it. Wait, what's the flavor of that again? Lemongrass yuzu. and yuzu. Ooh. Oh. Miss girl. Ah. She went to college for this. <laughs> oh, she's the heavy pour. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was like, let me pour that. I'm like, ha, ha. I'm gonna pour for you. <laughs> now I'm, I'm, I'm glad this isn't alcohol. Right. All right, cheersies. Mm, Yay. This one's good. It kind of smells like a spa. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Like lemongrass. I like it. I like it. I like it. It reminds me of a spritzer. This could be like a whiskey. Like a, you know, whiskey substitute or something. I don't know. I mean, I know not everyone's looking to get drunk or like to, uh, for a substitute, alcoholic substitute, but if you were, you know, because I feel like the the flavor is stronger than the first one. Yes, this flavor is stronger than the first one. Um, I can't get over the fact that it literally reminds me of the JW Marriott Spa. Like the lemongrass smell oh, interesting. is like so distinct to them. Hmm. It smells like their, um, their like steam room. I could like I would be like drinking this like at the spa. Or That's what I, yeah, like, yeah. Lemongrass is really associated with a lot of like relaxing, calming spas. Interesting. I think I like the I first one on more. Face. I'm going on my face. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, this one's like the mimosa one, which I'm the most excited. I also love. I'm really into this like this color. I don't know. I'm yeah, I, I like the designs. Mm -hmm. The can. Yeah. <sighs> I'm not trying to like freak you guys out, but it smells like theater popcorn. <laughs> I'm gonna love it. <laughs> it's just cheap. Whoa! That looks like butter is coming out oh, straight. I'm pouring this for you. Okay. I, I get passion fruit. I smell turmeric now. There's something wrong with me. Whoa! Am I having a stroke? <laughs> Maybe turmeric. Yeah. Maybe we should look at the ingredients. Did you already look at them or no? No. Ingredients, water, pineapple juice, um, lemon juice, collagen peptides, turmeric, turmeric. Ooh. Wow! Uh, <laughs> I'm just proud of myself. Wait, wait, wait. wait what is it? Peptides? They had turmeric, like I said. Oh. Ac Acarola powder, ginger extract, cardamom extract, licorice root, guava extract, coffee berry, L-theanine, um, vitamin D, zinc, and saffron extract. Whoa, mm. saffron? Okay. I'm sad because this is my least favorite one. Mm, and it's like so healthy. That's probably why. <laughs> um, we don't like healthy shit around here. Mm, interesting. Is it not your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not my favorite. Did you see my face or no? <laughs> I'm just over here making faces. <laughs> Okay, Tall's. Tall's. Ch ch chug the one you have. Oh, I actually do think that this one's my favorite. No way! Yeah. See, it's so this different one? how we yeah. all have different tastes. I think it's because of the 
It tastes like <clears throat> like grape juice. Like it smells like grape juice. For me, there's like an aftertaste. Is this supposed to taste like wine? No, that's that's exactly what it tastes like, right? Like grape. Like yeah. Is this supposed to taste like wine? Is that like what, what the thing is? I think there's grape in it. I can't remember. Hold on. It's like black. It's like blackberry. Cause lush notes of blackberry, rich tannins. Yeah, it's supposed to be like like wine. And subtle pepper with adaptogens, ashwagandha. Ashwagandha. I know. I was like, am I about to be st sitting in the corner like? <laughs> We're all about to be like that. I'm about to. I'm about to be relaxed. I'm about to be focused. I'm about to be. <laughs> Afrogana is also like a relaxing, like like mental clarity, focus. Yeah, I'm about to be existential. <laughs> I'm about to go ch like lay in the rain. Like I don't know yeah. what's happening. It's not that I don't like it. I'm just not a huge wine person, and this is what it tastes like, and that's that's okay. I do not like these. Um, I think I like this one the most. The lemongrass. But I think that one's my favorite. This one, let me try again. This one's good. These two are my faves. Yeah. Let me try this. Ooh. Yeah, that one's my favorite. And this one, it's crazy because I do love wine. And I feel like I'm not a big fan of it. Because I feel like there's an aftertaste and it's just not good. Mine goes this one, this one, then this one. Mine goes, mm, I'm going to say this one, this one, this one. This one. Mine goes. Uh, mine goes this one, and I think no, this one we just tried. That was the last one. I think mine goes like this. I just wasn't a fan of the the soy ones. And that is all. We're tired. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm excited to finish these. And gassy. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> That's just you. Good night. Bye.